days of old. You know, the old people way back, I remember, when we're going to go back with what we were growing up and the old brother boy and Angus. <laughs> but, you know, the, our old people used to sing these hymns without, you know, knowing the books. Today we have to look for a book, we have to look for the written down. I don't know what this is on. But uh, that's how it was back then. How can we forget the our old people, our old pioneers of the gospel, that laid the foundation down? Wooden bowl, tabulum, the surrounding district. They preached the gospel. And I tell you what, what they said went straight down the line. They didn't care whether you agreed with it or not. They preached what they had preached to put, bring you back into order and to walk in the statues of the Lord. Many can't take that discipline. But it's the most beautiful thing that you, you allow God to discipline you will bring about obedience. And obedience will bring about obeying God's word. That's first and foremost, we have to obey what God is saying to us. Don't just read his word and say, well, don't take notice of it, don't take it for granted. But God, you know, we need to be obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Praise the Lord. And like I was saying the last few nights, this little fellowship wasn't all about just mully mully in the tent. It was all about giving glory back to God. That's what it's all about, brothers and sisters. And to come around His Word and faith will increase that we are able to receive His Word. We had a wonderful time this morning. Wonderful. Our brother comes all the way from New Guinea. And I said, he's coming from the mountains to the mountains down here. I heard about New Guinea, he's got a lot of mountains. He's come to the mountains down here too. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, that's what the words say, so is the Lord is around about his people. Amen. So, tonight you out there, you look so beautiful. And I know your heart is going to be softened to the word of, to receive his word tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. How can you miss out on this, such a beautiful and wonderful fellowship? You're going to sit back, you're going to miss out. Come in. We, we, now we're going to all come in and get on that our way of praise again tonight, eh, Ruth? Praise the Lord, eh? Yeah. Yeah. We just sing this course, I just want to praise you, Lord. And like I said, this meeting, like I said, I didn't want to mention too much about my husband, the late Francis Bundock. But how can I forget? How can I forget? I was such a wonderful servant of God. My husband and your pastor. How can I forget? I will never, ever forget how we have looked after the church after the old one that's gone. Hey, in a moment. We have looked after the church and the flock of Muli Muli. And today, this is what you see today. That Muli Muli is hidden. We're all heading home. The old landmark's still standing. Amen. But the pilgrim, they've gone home. And that's where we all want to go now. Home to see them. They're all up there. Looking down at us. Hey, brother. Uncle Heaven. How can you forget these beautiful men of God? Mighty man of valor. Mighty woman of prayer and valor. Who well, might you seek this? Um, I just want to praise you, Lord. And I know tonight was... Um, it was Moody night, but that doesn't matter. It's not Moody night at all. It's God's time. It's sees time. That we've got a wonderful man of God that has travelled out from overseas to come and to deliver the word to us here in Moody Moody. Praise the Lord. I just give God all the praise, the honour and glory. I tell you what, this year, might have been a very hard struggle but the word was coming to me now take confidence in God otherwise you're going to miss the promise and I didn't want to miss that promise 
Because God said, I will be with you. I will guide you. I will protect you. And this year, I said to my family, I haven't been spoiled so much in all my life as this year. Everyone bringing in something to me. Food, clothing, little offerings. And I think to myself, oh, it's only you, God, that can do this. I have been looked after so well from the church and my sisters and brothers round about. Oh, it's just lovely. Amen. It will be a sad ending. Tomorrow night will be the last night, but we won't say goodbye to one another, but we'll say farewell. We'll see you <laughs> in the sweet by and by. Wonderful. You know, God is so wonderful. Before I'm finished, I'm going to ask Brother Pete, me and him, I'll sing this evening prayer again. <laughs> this evening prayer, we used to be sung in the communion service in Little Mooney Mooney every Sunday. In the lounges, there were no buildings back there, but we all gathered in the lounges. Three meetings a day, how old people had. If you all can remember, the bells going off. That's right. Three bells. The last bell you have to be there, otherwise you have to stand. That's how much they had that zeal for God. You must come back and have that beautiful zeal for God like you once had. Don't wander too far away because you're going to get lost out there. That broad way is getting very wide. But that narrow pathway is getting smaller and smaller because many like to walk on the broad way. They don't want to walk on this narrow road that's going to lead home. Praise the Lord. So what are we going to sing now? Oh, I just want to praise you Lord. <laughs> praise God, eh? I feel like I'm talking all night, but I've got the brother bless me. Oh, I don't know want to go like this for now, brother, anymore. <laughs> praise the Lord, eh?